Hey, happy holidays. I make uh, beeswax candles, pure beeswax candles. I have absolutely zero additives as uh, many people do that to maximize their profits. I would never do that. Um, I'm in Ottawa, uh, Ontario, Canada, uh, just so you know. And uh, I sell in person, I sell online. So I have an online Shopify shop called We're In Business, W-E apostrophe R-E in business, B-E-E. Uh, S-N-E-S-S -S, and then beeswax candles and if you look that up on a Google search you have to type up the whole thing to, to find it but I'll leave the link you can also find me on Facebook business page by the same name and when you look on Google you're gonna see um, a whole bunch of different because I, I signed up with Google for a Google store but find my Shopify shop or my Facebook so right now uh, I can't touch the wire here but um, right now I have a deal uh, buy two pillars get one for free so if you look at the front of my Shopify online store this is not a physical shop okay um, you the pillars that I have named on the front of my uh, my landing page the front page um, buy two of those and get the same one free excellent deal very uh, it's kind of tough to beat if you're in the area, you can just mark it as pickup and then come meet me, and uh, then you don't have to pay shipping. Um, so again, I have a Facebook and online shop. I'm going to give you uh, some examples of my my candles, and I have a a girlfriend who who helps also sell these um, for me. So um, I guess I'll start with my pillar candles and. Um, and then work my way. This is by no means all of them. I think, I'm not sure though, I'm, I'm almost sure that I have the most variety in Ottawa, who knows, maybe even Ontario for beeswax candles. I'm not sure, but from what I searched, yes. So let's start with my pillar candles. So I can't show you them all, but uh, I'll do my best. So now's the time to get them, right? They don't, so the thing about beeswax candles is they uh, they don't go bad. They burn twice as bright as they're really bright um, as a regular candle does. Um, they're not toxic. They're not toxic. So petroleum paraffin candles are toxic. To me, it's like lighting a cigarette and leaving it in an ashtray. So you can see the black soot and stuff like that. Uh, they burn about two to three times as long as a regular candle. They never go bad. They smell like honey like like really strong the kind I get it's the best wax you can get and uh, when you burn it your whole house smells like honey so um, so let's start with this this is my deer pillar with antlers he's pretty big and um, so you can find him in my store you know that would look uh, good in your cottage or something like that that one will burn for quite some time. What do I choose next here? This is uh, this is a light color because I made this a long time ago. I just I have like a show table, and uh, just in case people come in here. So uh, that's my rope pillar, and uh, that will burn for a long time. I don't know. That would burn for maybe 80 hours. So would the other one probably. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's my rope pillar. This is my midnight cast pillar. It's pretty popular. Um, I've sold quite a few of them. As you can see, I didn't filter everything out there, but I mean, sometimes in, I'm in a rush. I made that quite a while ago too. So, um, this is, um, this one is my best-selling candle, uh, probably because it looks so clean and neat. It's called my Garden Leaves Pillar, and you can buy two and get one free on my website. It's called the Garden Leaf Pillar. Excellent centerpiece or for like a wedding or for anything like that. Dinner, Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. It's like octagonal shape. 
and uh, garden leaves. So it's like oak leaves around the bottom. It's a really nice uh, uh, pillar. That'll burn for 50 hours if you burn it correctly. Despite what people um, say, they do smoke, but only if you leave them in a draft. Anything can smoke, but other than that, they're supposed to be smokeless. This is uh, just my regular. So I pride myself on detailed candles. I don't mean I don't pride. I'm just I pride myself on on you know uh, doing really detailed candles. And uh, but I have plain ones too. So there's my plain pillar, and you can buy um, two and get one free. Um, so there's there's that pretty plain pillar. Uh, for now, especially for Christmas, there's a snowflake pillar. So uh, I just sold some of these, sold quite uh, quite a few of them just uh, the other day. Snowflake. These are popular. I mean, I can't understand why people wouldn't want to buy them, especially if they're in a store. It's my whale, or sorry, my elephant pillar, and he's with his baby. As you can see there, and they're in like the desert, because it's like a desert tree. So, that again, I don't know how long that will burn. I haven't written them all down, but it would be some somewhere like the garden leaves, probably a bit less. Um, some people like the elephant one. I mean, there's a lot of detail, and that's really, really 3D. Um, this is my uh, whale pillar, as you can see there, and he's with his babies. People think it's a dolphin sometimes, it's not, it's a whale, but one of them does look like, this guy looks like, certainly does, like a dolphin. Pardon me, I'm just going to take a little sec here to take a sip of water and I'll finish off the rest. But um, I'm always fair with my customers, and uh, so just give me a sec. No, I didn't show this. This is my deer pillar. Might be tough. I have so many candles here. Might be tough to see, but uh, you can see um, it's two deer at night, a doe um, and a fawn. At night, a starry night in, in a forest. That's what it is. You can see the stars and the tree. And then um, you can see there. It's what's her name from uh, Rudolph, not Eileen, but uh, I forget what her name is. But anyways, <clears throat> so like like pillar type candles. This is my um, cat wearing a scarf. People tend to like that if they have cats, right? Some people, even if they don't have cats, it's pretty popular. And because people liked it so much, I got this one too. I just sold one, uh, to, well, it was yesterday, but I got the money today. Uh, the Lounging Cat. It's actually really nice, people like that one. Um, this isn't its full size, by the way. Uh, it's because of it. Uh, I don't know. I only had so much wax left, and I poured it. But um, give me a second here. <clears throat> this is um, I forget what I call this, and this isn't even the full size, but it's very nice. It's a swirl pillar, swirl pillar. They're really nice to see up close. Um, trying to be careful around my computer here because if I touch the wire, it will shut the video off. Um, 
Yeah, this is definitely a favorite. This is my number two bestseller. And uh, this is called my Night Owl. This is just what I named it because they come out at night, right? They're nocturnal. And the detail, I've got a lot of good compliments on this guy. See the detail on that? And uh, when I go out and I sell them door to door, their feet break off, whatever. And when they're, if their feet do break off, it still looks good. It still sits up and everything. You would never know. I don't want that to happen, but this is like a knight uh, and a cloak. It could be the Grim Reaper too. But I think it's like uh, supposed to be a knight in a cloak with a sword. And I have a small version of this too. It's pretty big. So as you can see, I really focus on uh, detailed stuff as well as, you know, if I want to make money, I, I have to... Um, get the plain stuff too, right? Um, this is just a novelty candle, as are some of you know the others that I'm showing you here, and uh, they don't burn as efficiently as it would, you know, like a, a pillar candle or like a taper candle. But uh, this is like a Tim Burton, like I got two people who said the same thing because I thought that, and that's why I, I bought this uh, uh, mold. Um, it was expensive mold too. But it's two skeletons getting married, and it's like a Tim Burton-like scene. You know, like one of their animations? Let's see if I can get that. It doesn't focus in when I put it up to the camera, so... I love that one. That one in the owl and the elephant and the whale and the garden leaves pillar. Those are my favorite detailed ones. So another pillar. There's my this is a novelty slash pillar. It's just a mouse. Mickey Mouse type. This is old because I, I don't use ivory beeswax. This um Beeswax is also, uh, actually the original color is white, whether you know it or not. I forget what the process is. They have to do a certain process. Um, it costs more to buy ivory. I like the yellow color, it makes detail better, but some people like ivory. Uh, it's originally white, and they have to dye it back to yellow. Don't ask me what the process is, but it's a chemical process. Um, let me see here. I have... Uh, this is one of my Christmas trees. Um, I have other ones that are fatter, um, kind of different. Spruce slash pine Christmas tree. And um, <clears throat> and with that, you know, I have like, uh, yeah, perfect for Christmas, for a setup, right? So picture having this together with so that was a little gift box, eh? It's excellent. The detail on that's really nice. So picture having that with in a in a scene. Oh, look at the color of this one. Um, there's a Santa holding a bell and a bag, uh, swinging a bell with his bag, and. Uh, that's uh, a snowman uh, holding a lamb. Wearing a toque. I, as you can see, I have specs in there. When I have leftovers, that's what I do. I don't filter it. I'm just like when I'm in a rush or something. <sighs> what else? I have uh, 
I have a lot of different animals and stuff. So there's a squirrel, as you can see there. And with each one I get the detail, I make sure that I have detailed candles because I know people like that. I have uh, four different types of owl. I'm not going to show the other ones. They're the small ones. But here's one of them, as you can see them there. Sorry, I have, uh, you can see my hands there, that's from my bike chain. Yes, I bike in the winter time. Here's uh, Halloween. Uh, he's wearing a, a hat, it's like a mean pumpkin face. I didn't sell any of this year, but I gave some of those away. You know, like when someone does a bigger order type thing, I'll, I tend to do that. I'll put an extra in there. Um, yeah, so. Um, I guess you'd say, like one of these, you could say a rose slash tulip, and the other one is a rose. So there's a rose slash tulip. I mean, if you have a wedding or something, please recommend me because I can make as many as you need. I have a lot of molds to do these. And then uh, this isn't so new, so the definition isn't really uh, sticking out, but this is a wicked candle. You should see a picture I have of this. I don't know which way is regular here. You have to see the... Uh, the lighting you should see the rose in here you, you can't see it in this but uh, I call it my thick version it'll burn for quite a while be excellent for a wedding both of them <sighs> sorry getting kind of dehydrated as I'm doing this I also sell in a six pack and there's uh, like this, this is falling apart just because this is from my bag when I would go door to door. It's been sitting for weeks. But uh, I sell uh, 12 tea lights. And in those tea lights, yeah, it's a plastic package. Maybe people don't like that, but the cups are polycarbonate. They're reusable, they're heat resistant. Um, you can find all these in my shop. I sell over 70 different types. Um, there is uh, taper candles, your, your, your traditional 8-inch um, dinner candles by they're, they're, they're your standard ones, uh, 0 0.85 diameter. And uh, I mean, these could still fit in something, but uh, my uh, smaller ones, they're 5.25 inches and they're 0.75. They're all nice. And uh, give me, a, let me get take another sip here. I'm going to show you my last one. last ones <clears throat> there's uh I just sold one of the I don't sell many of these ones but I did the other day I'm trying to smell that with wax um, snowball snowball <laughs> um, yeah I forget how this even burns but uh, it makes a good uh, prop I make a small and large of this and um, it's, it's my uh, Christmas tree pillar, tree line pillar. And again, to me, the trees on the bottom of it are like, like Tim Burton, Tim Burton-like. You know, when you picture the animation of that Tim Burton with those skeletons, 
if you picture, picture them walking through a forest like this. So I have a small and a large, so I have one that's probably about like that big. And uh, this, and then I have one more. I sell a big skull, but I also have a realistic looking regular skull. I have many more candles you can find. And when you look at my online shop, um, my big pillar uh, is not there. That's the only one I don't have there. I actually have a wolf too, but I didn't bother uh, putting it in. Um, when you are when you click on the drop-down menu boxes, know that it goes way down, okay? So when you're on there, remember to scroll all the way down to see that the box goes further down. So I'll show you that. This... Um, tell you the truth I haven't even sold one because the funny thing is uh, um, I've been doing this for almost four years and uh, someone the, the people kept asking me for big candles big candles big candles after a while I got so annoyed that I bought uh, big molds for it I bought a 12 inch and I bought a 17.5 inch for just like a regular smooth pillar um, almost did that uh, so he is three inches wide and it's um, this one is I think 16.5 because it shrunk on me but um, the pricing I'm not so sure on Etsy I'm not kidding you, you can go look you, people don't sell ones this big for beeswax because it's expensive people are selling 320 or 350 dollars and so I just decided to sell it for 150 I never tested how long this would last because it'll last for more than a week. I don't know. It could last two weeks for all I know, but there it is. Right there. It's pretty big. So you can see. It's just a regular... Yeah, it's been sitting on my floor there for quite a while, so... Um, and it weighs, it's pretty heavy too, so I'd probably charge 150 for that. So please know, um, uh, with the tea lights, I also sell six packs. Oh yes, just one sec. I have a lot of candles I sell, so, um, these are very popular. Um, they're uh, beehive tea lights. Um, they're twice as big as a tea light is at one ounce. Uh, sorry, two? I forget. It's probably two. Um, maybe one. But anyway, it's double the size of a tea light. And I forget if a tea light's 0.5 or it's one because you have the cup and you have the wick and everything. So it might be 0.75 and these are one. I'm not sure, but in, in any case... They, they're really good. They, they burn for about five hours, each one of them. They're little beehives. I mean, these make excellent gifts. I sell uh, all of North America. And if you're anywhere else in the world, you have to contact me through my website. And uh, if you're willing to pay the shipping, I will do this. But I'm not going to flip the bill for international shipping because it's very expensive. Um, so there it is. It's quite a few candles, and that was that's about maybe uh, uh, two thirds of what I I have. So um, I just say uh, happy holidays, and uh, and God bless. If you, I, I'll leave my link uh, just for my my Shopify store. We're in business, beeswax candles. And uh, remember that two for one for the selected ones on the front. And uh, you can easily find my Facebook on um, uh, business page by that name. Um, so you can contact me through the email. You can, uh, or you can just order. If you're in the area here, you can order it from my store and mark it as pickup and you won't have to do shipping. God bless.